It's a massive day. I mean, like a big day. We are doing the first official turf print. This is a little foreshadowing of what it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be in the grass. I know, it seems unbelievable. Stay tuned. This image, every detail, even down to the little beard hairs. Boop, 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 boop. It's supposed to be in the grass if everything goes as planned. The sun is out. There's no clouds as of right now. It's a little chilly. I like that. I'm not gonna sweat too much. Oh, the holy grail. The turf printer. NASA scientist. Silicon Valley. Lawn dude. <laughs> we all meet the secret formula. And the secret formula is... Confidential. Top Con laser. Need this. Caleb, if you need a new tripod, I got a tripod for you. <laughs> Load into the, the Bravo trailer. I'm sure y'all remember this one from last year. We picked it up. South Bend, Indiana. She's been great. I did a, a trial about a week ago. Mm -hmm. Had all kinds of issues with this thing. Had to fix it. Had to, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to talk about it real quick just to show you guys. Last year, we went out to Oakland, California to the A's. We used this machine to put Thank You Oakland in the grass because it was the last home game ever. I got one shipped to me. There's only five in the whole world and I got my hands on one. So, you were wondering what the hell is this thing? A turf printer on a Cub Cadet body. Air module, turbo combine, shoots air backwards, hook it up to a tablet, any image, machine code, the list goes on and on. So, what did I have to do? I got this thing. I get out there, I'm all excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do my first turf print. Sarah's recording me. I'm out there. I don't get no pressure. And then some other stuff goes wrong. So, long story short, I had to replace this air regulator. This looks like it's simple, but it's not. Take this whole thing off, undo all these hoses and wires, put that new thing on. Second, I had to get up under here. Another air hose. It was leaking. I had to pull it off, cut it, put it back on. Then the battery died. Then I had to charge the battery up. So, I'm learning on the fly. We're getting this done. I feel confident about today. We shall see. We might come across some hiccups here and there, but we'll see. Voila. You hear that? The full address and zip code so people can come look at it. <laughs> We're not going to disclose it yet, but we will. <laughs> Dude, every time that I've come here to make a video, there's either a bunch of people that come out of here and they start walking around there's either somebody cutting that yard like with the loudest mower in the world this is a break center so all you hear is <laughs> over here they got another playground the kids are always like laughing which you know it's fine yeah! and i get that they gotta laugh but there's always a distraction when i come to make a video but we've come on a sunday and it's quiet so hopefully it stays that way i'm getting excited the sun's there the sun needs to be at my back we're printing in this beautiful open field. I haven't cut it in a week. And I was going back and forth like, does the turf printer work better on a freshly cut lawn? Or does it work better on a lawn that's been grown for a week? And I think it's gonna work better on a lawn that's been grown for a week. We'll find out. I got the hustler with me just in case I gotta zip it up real quick if it's not working, but. I gotta see how big this is. This print is going to be 124 by 80 wide. I don't wanna do it upside down like I did last time, so I gotta start over here, but the camera's gonna be over here. Let me start here, and it's like this. So I'm doing it upside down, but it, it makes it right side up. So what I'm gonna do, got my handy dandy Milwaukee measuring wheel. I think I'm gonna try to put it at an angle because this is gonna take us, I'd say about an hour at least, and the sun's gonna slightly start creeping this way. So if I put it at a diagonal angle, by the time we're done, it should be perfect lighting for the big reveal. Let's, let's just say that this is a corner real quick. All right. So you stay here for a second. Okay. Mark this spot. 124 at an angle would be. This is how tall it's gonna be. Step one, we gotta set up the tripod laser. So what this does, uses the laser system. Get this over here. Let's open this up. They use this in like heavy duty machinery. When they grade, it kind of tells you how, how low and or how not low you should be digging if you're on a big, I don't know, excavator or something like that. When you're on a big escalator or something like that. This is important, but this is the most important. No matter where you're at, it always reflects right back to you. Like right now, I can see my eye no matter which way I turn it. I should have put this on Sarah's finger. Don't want to drop the diamond. And this goes on the top of the turf printer. And this is how it knows 
where it is in reference to the laser and to the lawn, AKA the grid. You set this laser out in the field to the side and it's shooting the beam constantly and knows where it is on the X, Y, and Z axis. Some science and some math. Battery. How many lawn does it take to put a battery in? <laughs> you know what, we're gonna try the other battery. I'm gonna put it down here because they say don't have it looking at anything shiny and that roof is shiny as mm. Level it the best you can. It's gonna do a little rotation. It's gonna self level. The drone's gonna be over here, right? Yep. I gotta start down here. So I'm gonna normally when I do a drone, I'm like the drone's here and I'm starting here. I'm like this, but this time I gotta start here. I'm like this. Turf printer's about ready to go. It's about time to print. So last time I was here was on a Wednesday. It's Sunday right now. So I don't have my other crews out working. Last time I was here, I did have them out working. But normally, you know, I send them out on their way. Uh, I'm able to see where they're at in the field through my Jobber app. So if you were to check this out, let's say, obviously it's Sunday. I don't have the guys out working right now. But tomorrow, I'm able to see. So truck one has 23 accounts to do. Truck two has 24 and truck three has 17. So as they go down throughout the day, they're checking them off. So I can see pretty much where they are at on a map but based on which jobs are completed. If you don't know what Jobber is, it is an amazing all-in-one CRM, which is a software for service-based companies. Quote, schedule, invoice, get paid, plus a boatload of other features. Highly recommend it. You can find the link down below. Use my link in the description. Get an exclusive discount. You can even do a 14-day free trial. Highly, highly recommend it if you are a service-based business. I compare it to iPhone and Android. Sure, there are, there are other softwares that can do similar things, but those are Androids. They're not as easy to use. They're not as user-friendly. Jobber is the iPhone of software. Just It just makes sense. It really does. Don't take my word for it. Just try it out for yourself. 14-day free trial. Map, you can just route from here. You can see everything on, on a map. You can write up a quote simply from your phone right here. Quote, invoice. Schedule a job. Assign it to the team. You can get paid through Jobber. They even have AI features where you can create a website in a matter of five minutes and link it to the top of your sales funnel so that way it goes into your business. You can control your leads, get paid, get leads here and there, boom, 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 boom. Check them out, highly recommend them. They're great. They're also a big sponsor of my business and my work. I don't promote nothing I don't use, so check them out. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're letting the laser calibrate. Just turn this on, open it up my cheat sheet. Once that goes, we'll take them towards the prison. We're good there. Just wait. So what we're doing right now is we're connecting the tablet to the computer on the on the machine, which is also connecting to the laser. I'm not sure if you can see that with the with the glare, but that's the image going on the grass. First pass is down, got the turf print started. Lawn dude made a little bit of an error. We forgot to invert the image. So what is light should be dark and what is dark should be light. You can still tell what it is for sure. We're still learning this thing. It would look better if the background was light and the image was dark. You'd see that more detail. So I'm, de I'm debating, should I go over this again and try to get more detail that way? Or should we go to this field over here and essentially redo the whole thing? What do you think, Caleb? I say let's see how crispy we can make this one. Okay, I mean, and we got plenty of time. It's still early in the morning. If we don't like it, then we just switch fields. Yeah, all right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go over this one again. My eyes are like, I don't know if y'all see me on there, but I'm literally watching the screen the whole time and trying to keep this little ball in between these brackets. So I'm watching the screen. I'm not even looking around. I'm looking at the screen the whole time and I'm driving. I'm like this. My eyes are crossed. Hurt your brain a little bit, but I guess because we, we didn't print the image upside down, but we inverted it. I'm gonna have to give them a discount through the job wrap when I invoice them. Instead of 10,000, I guess we'll, we'll give them half off, it'll be $5,000. We'll get paid right away through Jobber, and uh, no, I'm just kidding. But if, in theory, if I were to invoice them, it would be through Jobber. I'm doing this one for free. This is a trial run, and uh, it's a learning curve, but I can see, I can see it. I can see it now. Back on the machine. <laughs> Second 
pass is done on my last stripe. My laser died. I mean, it was actually good timing, really. Got through both prints by the time it died. Ran out of gas halfway through, had to switch tanks. Come over and look at this real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. It's a little dusty, but you can see this is the image. And this little ball, I'm having to keep it between the green brackets, preferably, or the yellow. So it's kind of swaying left and right, depending on where I'm at. And this is, this looks like a flat field, but it's actually pretty, pretty damn bumpy. So I'm having to like correct it constantly. Focus, my eyes are hurting. I've been on this machine for two hours. I mean, it turned out pretty good, I think, for the first time. I think it turned out really good. Obviously with- I inverted it. Inverted it, but with that being said, I think it still turned out great. Yeah. I'm impressed that you can see the lawn dude on the hat? Words on the hat. On yeah. the hat, yeah. And like I said, if it was inverted, it'd probably show up even better. So we're back from lunch. We're gonna try this field. We're gonna do it the correct way this time. We're gonna invert the image. By the time I'm done, the sun should be more over here. So it is gonna be the opposite. I'm confused myself. But long story short, I need to start in that top left corner and it should be right side up as long as I invert the image. So I need to get my Milwaukee measuring tool out. And just make sure this area is big enough. What did I say it was? 124 by 80? Yeah, roughly. I think that's roughly what it was. The only downside to this side is it is significantly bumpier. Okay. What was it? 124? 124 should be to that little sewer thing over there. Got plenty of room then. That's good. So next step, we're going to get the laser out, put the new battery in it, set everything up. So. Let's redo it all. Which battery is the dead one? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that's the live one. That's the good one? I'm just guessing. Oh my goodness. If y'all think that this is easy, I swear to God it's not way harder than actually mowing. It's mentally challenging. Mentally, I can't even talk straight right now. Physically challenging. <sighs> we got it done though. I can't wait to see the drone view of this. You checked it out halfway through, it looked pretty good. Let's get up in there, let's, let's check it out. See the results. Got the turf printing done the right way this time we inverted it man y'all see the uh, the footage of it unreal any image you want we could put in the grass we'll see what's next man we might be going to rick ross's house put his face in the grass the car show logo really the opportunities are endless for this this is insane technology silicon valley nasa engineering lawn enthusiast dude i'm so excited can't wait to get to work with this Appreciate Jobber for sponsoring this video. Best CRM in the game, check them out. Use my link in the description below, save you some money, and you can get a 14 day free trial. Yeah, man, stay tuned. Turf printing, coming soon.